community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We are going to take a look at the Treasury bond market, folks. We were watching it yesterday because the low that we made down there at 129 was an exact AB equals CD pattern. It had taken out the previous low by two ticks. That was done about four weeks ago. And we said, get ready, because this might be an explosive move. And, of course, the market uh, rallied up, and we were not able to get in to begin with. And what we decided to do, and this is the reason why I'm going to do a little housekeeping here, is I send a video out. Whenever I see a trade, I say, this is what we should be looking for. And what I said was, look for the first 382 retracement that you get. Now, these bonds rallied over $1,000 before they made that 382 retracement. This was right before the opening, and as you can see, it was a perfect Gartley at a 382 retracement. There's your ABCD. It went two ticks lower than the 382, and off to the races it went. It's up almost $2,000, and as you can see, it's a flagpole formation, just absolutely straight up, usually highly indicative at more uh, is to come and we of course had a very long-term goal here on the bonds at 138 to 139 we're trading at 132 and change right now so you know it doesn't take long with a couple of bank failures here and there where you could get to these levels without any trouble but that's when i said when i say that i describe this pattern very clearly because i asked several people did i do it correctly yes you did well some people said well i never i stopped watching it well folks <laughs> you're in the trading business if you're going to be in front of your machine at least put a beeper on as you get closer to these things so that you can get to them and see that yeah that's what they're doing they're they're getting to those numbers that seem to be you know really really important now, by the same token, now we had another one today that was very interesting, and that is the one that we were watching here in the um, end of uh, the wheat. And I wanted to get this up to show you uh, this is the same type of situation where I send these out as they're being formed, or, you know, it's before they're formed, but the uh, this was after the fill came in, and we were looking to buy the wheat down at the 411. And uh, excuse me, 611, and we got to 611 and a half. So any, anything under 12, four, uh, six, 612 triggers that. And we've got Carlos from Mission, Texas on the line. Carlo, what can I do for you? That was going to be my next good subject, morning, Larry. the Russell. <laughs> yes, Larry, good morning. How are you? I'm very good, my friend. What can I do for you? Well, uh, I showed last night uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning, Texas time. Mm -hmm. uh, the Russell with one contract, Larry, and I'm looking at the bounce here. So I need to know how, uh, um, what will you think about it if I am about to close this because I fear for a uh, bounce? Well, I don't see much of a bounce coming. What I would do, did you sell it uh, in the early part of the day when it was rallying uh, strongly up at the 618 level? Last night, Larry. Yeah, okay. Well, you did the right thing. That's what that's what it was doing. What I would do, Carlo, this has the potential to be very bearish. And as you can see from this chart, uh, you can see the three lower highs we've had here. This is the 135 pattern. But the most important thing, Carlo, is if you look at this chart, you'll see that we had three times in the past three weeks where we hit exact 382 retracement. We never went above it. And then we had the big break, and then we had a slight rally back on Monday, and then the big break here on Tuesday. If we close badly today, anywhere near where we are right now, this sets up a tremendous move to the downside. So if you put your stop at break even, you've got the uh, – or maybe a small profit, $100 or something, but it's got the potential to be something really, really big. 
I mean, look how look how right. this is one. Remember, I showed two charts yesterday of why the stock market looks so bearish, and the first one was this Russell, because it's the Russell 2000. Yeah. This is small companies that have a hard time getting credit when interest rates go up. And their sales can fluctuate quite a bit. And then also, I'm going to show after we get done here, the Dow Jones transportation showing you the same thing, that there was something, you know, really seriously wrong with this thing. So that's why mm -hmm. I think that you ought to, you know, give it a little bit of room. I mean, okay, it's not bouncing great. very much. That. I mean, it's just a very, very small bounce so far. Great. Well, thank you, Larry. I'll put my stuff I, in that, I hope in that, that helps. And, and if... Yeah, I hope it helps. Thank you, know, you so much, and I really uh, looking to keep uh, listening to you and TFNN. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. Everybody. Remember one thing, my friend. I'm, <laughs> I'm often I'm often in doubt, but always wrong. So just be careful to put the stop in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> very. I very, always very remember important. that. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right. Let's take a look it's here. Good to have your opinion. Thank you so well, much. Thank you very much. We're going to look at the transportations now because that was one thing we were again looking at on Monday. Uh, these are things that I shared with the folks uh, over in uh, uh, Las Vegas on uh, Thursday, but you'll know Wednesday. You'll notice here that it's the same thing. It looks almost like the Russell has a little bounce today, and then, of course, rolling over again. You have the big A B C D pattern completing here, and then we go up to the 50% retracement, and it took uh, just about uh, three and a half weeks to get there. And then look, you quickly give up most of it. This is telling you folks, this is the transportation index. This is airlines, railroads, trucking, delivering of goods, all that stuff. And if that's slowing down, that means there's not a lot of stuff going on out there, even though the rest of the market doesn't look too bad. I mean, some of these things have actually done pretty well from a, a bullish standpoint, that's for sure. As, as a perfect example of that, let me let me just show you one of the trades that, that we were doing for um, – the folks over at the Las Vegas, I promised to do a trade a day for them, and I wanted to bring this one up, which is the uh, – this is Microsoft, and I want to get it up here because this was the uh, the trade for today. I'll get it up here so you'll be able to see it, and I really thought that top was in. I didn't uh, – I th thought it might go a tiny bit higher, but I said to sell it at uh, 305 or better. It opened it at 306.70. The high was 309.10, and now it's trading at around 303, I believe. But because of this ABCD pattern that was here, I mean, this is just absolute perfection. And if you add this little distance uh, to the pattern, it takes you right up to 308. So now you're in a situation where you're risking virtually nothing. And that's uh, that was another one that was really good. Now, the first trade that we were watching, of course, was Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. And we'll take a look at that one because... Here's one that we missed by about 40 cents, and I'll get this up here. We were trying to sell Apple. You'll notice we had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern right up here at uh, 170 and change. I actually shaded it by 30 cents to think that I would be sure to, sure to get in, but they still missed me by 30 cents, and now the market has uh, backed off uh, $3 from that level. And we, we still might get a chance to get it, but uh, that's how we set it up. These patterns are for your protection, folks, because they only work part of the time, and that's the main thing that you want to be uh, looking at as you watch some of these things uh, unfold, because it's, uh, it's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose, and that's where the key lies to all of this stuff right here. We're having the grain markets are getting massacred one more time today, and we'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey, folks, I posted the chart yesterday. This is exactly when it was happening. If you remember, we were seeing a perfect A, B, C, D pattern there. A, B, C, D. It was 13 bars up, and these are eight-minute bars, so it took a little over half an hour. Uh, yep, and then if you see, same thing, right up to the exact level at 4206, and that's where we sold it. Now, the reason why we sold it there was because you had perfect symmetry. The $64 question is, how did I know that was going to happen? No chance in hell would I ever know that, folks. Not a chance in heck, but all I can tell you is, that that pattern works roughly about 60% of the time. Now, how would I know whether I was wrong or not? Well, if I'm in it for 13 bars and two or three bars later, I'm already above this level. It tells me that something is seriously wrong. So I exit the trade. It's a failed pattern and I move on. This one happened to break and it broke very hard today. But it stopped right where it should have, 61% of the range that we had on Friday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average stopped exactly to the exact tick of the 78% retracement of the low on Thursday. So these numbers are there. These algorithmic traders are out there using them. So don't fade them, folks, because uh, these things work. They don't work all the time, but boy, when they do work, you know, they work pretty well. And that's the whole secret to what we're watching here. Very, very important to watch what's going on, especially with the Russell the way that it is and some of these other patterns that are there. They're just uh, they're lined up. And then you see this big move we're having in bonds. You know, it's really, uh, really quite spectacular. Now, I want to talk just a tiny bit about this seasonal that's out here called uh, sell in May and go away. Well, uh, we have uh, from Carson Research. They were kind enough to uh, send me a thing on this because this is only a 10 year study, folks. But look at this. In the last 10 years, if you'd have sold in May and gone away, you would have lost 9 out of the 10. That's what happened. Now, that's what happens with uh, cycle stuff. They have outlier events where this occurs. 
But remember, don't just focus on a seasonal just because it says sell and may go away. Have some type of another uh, another interest to do it, like a, you know a pattern that's really interesting, like the like the S and P pattern that we were looking at, or the Dow Jones pattern that we were looking at. Those were telling you that yes, there's a possibility of that. And then when you add to it that you have the divergence that you have with the Russell, and then especially with the Dow Jones transportation, which means the movement of goods. That's what you're looking at. And at the same time, you're seeing the, the price of the bonds that everybody – given the last rights on Monday, on Tuesday, uh, that everybody's uh, left the funeral because these bonds have just taken off again. It just didn't take very long. It was just that big ABCD happening right before our eyes. And if you missed it, you had a nice 382 retracement and boom, you can see what happened after that. That's uh, pretty much what you're, what you're looking at. Now, we're seeing uh, a real – you know more sell-off in the grains. We've got new lows in wheat just now. We hit uh, uh, six ten and a half. I saw that. Uh, we have an order. We had an order to buy, which we did at six eleven. And uh, what we're doing now is we have our stop now at five ninety nine. It may or may not work, but again, it gets us to be a farmer for five hundred bucks. We don't have to have any combines. We don't have to own the land. Don't have to lease the land or anything. All we have to do is buy a futures contract, and we're a farmer. And the difference is we don't have to be a farmer by the end of this show or I could close it out right now. You can't do that if you're a farmer. You've got too much responsibility. But this pattern shows you that the seasonal for selling may go away, which is really one of the strongest ones over the past 150 years for the last 10 years, which remember, since 2009 and, and forward, um, we've been in a tremendous, tremendous bull market. So maybe that's what skewed it. So, but uh, all I do is I look at the patterns, and if I see a pattern that tells me, yes, there's a possibility that this could roll over, that's what I'm looking for. And that's all it was telling us today. And it might only last one day, might last two days, but we don't know for sure. And as I always say, no one else does either. So that's the main thing, you know, to uh, pay attention to as you're looking at some of these things uh, that, are, that are happening. And believe me, there's a lot of things that are happening, that's for sure. Now, I wanted to spend uh, just a tiny bit of time uh, on the crude oil complex because we had uh, Tim Moore on yesterday, uh, Mike Moore uh, on, and he was uh, in cr very, very negative uh, to the uh, interest, uh, the crude oil markets for, for several uh, different reasons. And I wanted to uh, uh, bring that up here to show you the main thing that he was uh, telling us to uh, be careful of, and uh, you'll see here as we bring this up here, uh, only take a minute, but uh, this was the whole ballpark because we've broken in the last two days, uh, we've broken uh, you know, well over $8 a barrel from this 382 level that we hit uh, last week. And of course, here is where the, the folks from uh, Saudi Arabia uh, dropped production. Well. Prices are, you know, down in here now, and they still drop production. So dropping production did not help the price. It actually hurt the price. So uh, we're going to find out what's happening over there uh, very, very shortly. By the way, my guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, who has been uh, quite bearish on this market. And I can see from some of the charts that he sent up that he has uh, maintained that position uh, you know for quite some time and one other chart that uh, Tim was time Mike was time enough to uh, show I've got t Tim on my line on my mic I was talking to Tim Bost earlier today but you'll see here he'll be back soon as a guest but you can see this beautiful cycle formation here we have the perfect 135 pattern we have this little tiny bit of a rally and now this has failed this is now a failed 135 pattern, folks, because when you stop exactly at that number and it doesn't hold, just like the 50% didn't hold or the 618, the 786 didn't hold, that means you're in a bear market and you've got to get ready to stand aside. At least don't try to pick a bottom. Try to find a way to get short. Look for a 382 pattern, a small A, B, C, D, uh, and that's what you're looking for, just like we had in the S&P just a few minutes ago up at the uh, 4028 level. That was a nice little ABCD on a five-minute chart intraday. Now, 
Maybe this thing's going to close really strongly today. I don't know. But if it closes badly, we were down over 500 points in the Dow at one time. And if we close down over 600, uh, this is going to get pretty nasty because it's trapped a lot of people up in here. And they're going to have to make a decision pretty quick. And remember, speaking of pretty quick, we have the Federal Reserve out there tomorrow. And you know how much they like to play these markets. So... Get ready for anything because it probably will happen. That's what we're almost absolutely sure of. We have one more chart to share to, to share with you, and that is the. Uh, hold on one second here. That is the chart of. Give me. This is the chart of the crude oil market. Uh, excuse me, the wheat market, because our friend Jeff over in uh, New Jersey thought that we were going to be going lower in the. Uh, though just a second here. There it is right here. You'll be able to see it. You'll recognize it by his signature black background. But you can see you have a big ABCD measuring all the way down here below $6. And remember, folks, up here it was trading at $13 a bushel. And now we're half that price and nobody wants it. This is what we call an oversold condition. We'll be right back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And behold, 
the bull market. Tell us what you're looking at here, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, how are you? So, I'm very good. Uh, By the way, chart in our uh, weekly publication called the Alpha Insights Review and Outlook, and we entitled it "Behold the 2023 Bull Market." You know, contrary to popular opinion. The bull market, which most people believe has produced these, you know, 9 to 20 percent returns in the major indexes, have, has really been quite tame. If you take a look at the average stock's performance, and we've looked at two major indexes, the S&P 500 on an equal weight basis, and also the value line geometrically weighted uh, index, which is a very broad but equally weighted index as well, they're only up about 2.6 percent. And that is, in fact in line with the average performance going back to 1928, according to data provided by Yardeni Research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does great research, by the way. Yeah, Uh, Ed Yardini's been around a long time, and he is pretty sharp. Let's talk about the internals here, Jeff, because you do a great job in describing, you know, some of the things that are actually going on internally in the market that uh, sometimes we don't see. So, Please uh, tell the folks what you're looking at here as far as uh, the diverging negativity. Yeah, absolutely. So we look at three measures of internal health in the market. And what we do is we, again, equal weight the S&P 500. And we're looking at, uh, in the top frame, the breadth of, uh, of advancing issues, so net advancing issues. And what we're seeing is that the five-week moving average of net advancing issues actually made a lower high at the most recent peak on uh, uh, April 18th, actually. And so uh, we've now reversed back into negative territory uh, as of earlier this morning. And that negative divergence is is pretty glaring at this point. It suggests to us that uh, we probably have a major um, uh, reversal to look forward to in terms of uh, price in the index. And that is also being uh, confirmed by momentum as well. And here again, we use uh, a five-week RSI oscillator to gauge the short to intermediate term uh, momentum. And we made a much lower high at the uh, recent April highs and, in fact, have reversed significantly below the median line, which is a bearish regime. And then finally, we look at net advancing volume in the bottom frame. And again, we try and look at a five-week moving average. Um, this past week, we're actually below one, so the ratio is 0.89, uh, looking at uh, up volume to down volume. But the five-week moving average has moved back from its recent highs of around three to about one and a half. And that's down from the uh, earlier highs this year, which uh, occurred in January, early February. Uh, which uh, were around nine times. And so, you know, a much more significantly lower high, which, again, creates this negative divergence, which typically occur right around major turning points in the market. (laughs) Well, this next chart has a mystery written all over it from my perspective, and I had not uh, (laughs) heard of this called the... uh, the tail risk. Now, I'm not sure what that means. So, uh, remember, I'm a futures trader, so we don't go into the uh, exotic stuff. But what what does this mean, Jeff? Yeah, you know, the the skew index, Larry, is uh, something produced by the CBOE uh, uh, in in the options markets, right? And so, what we're really looking at is um, this 30-day volatility shift here. And what SKU is basically suggesting, and let me put it in this perspective, we're at about 138 now. Normal is 100. So uh, at 100, the risk or, you know, the market isn't pricing in a lot of tail risk. Tail risk would be like uh, some sort of a black swan, right? And uh, back in um, mid-2021, we hit a record high at about 170 on the SKU index, and we've been coming down pretty steadily since. But what happened in March, right around the time that we saw the first bank failure with Silicon Valley Bank uh, going down, is we saw a big spike through that downtrend. And that suggests that the market is now beginning to price in a higher probability of a black swan. Um, so they're pricing in tail risk, and so the price of SKU is advancing. And in fact, most recently, 
uh, especially with this uh, recent bank uh, failure, we've seen a breakout to a new recovery high in SKU. And what this is basically telling us is that tail risk is very high today and it's growing. And so uh, options players are beginning to price in uh, a black swan event. Okay. Now, uh, can you define what a black swan event is? And we have another question behind that one because I, I know who the guy is. I've read his book, Talib, but I still never quite understand. I think it's just a surprising thing that no one yeah. is expecting. Is that what that means? Exactly. It's just basically something that an yeah. unpredictable negative surprise yeah. uh, or positive surprise uh, would be a white swan, but the black swan would really be, um, you know, something that's unexpected and negative and would cause volatility to expand dramatically. And one of those um, that's lurking, this is somewhat expected, but but maybe not. Everybody expects the U.S. debt default uh, situation that's currently being debated in Congress and uh, being pushed back on by the president, uh, that it's going to be resolved in the 11th hour. Well, what if the black swan is that it isn't and that the United wow. States government defaults on its debt, which means that Basically, they won't pay interest payments on your treasuries uh, until this is resolved. I mean, it might be something that occurs for 30 days or three months or something, uh, but and eventually they'll you know come back and make good on everything. But this is not something the market is expecting. And if that were yeah. to occur, that would be an extreme uh, version of a black swan, probably the most extreme. Yeah. You know, the most amazing thing about that book that I read about that black swan that Nicholas Tlaib wrote, do you know what is you know what is the name of a group of black swans, what it's referred to as? A bank. I, I don't. A bank. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah it's, it's a bank. You heard of a herd and, you know, all the other stuff with cattle and sheep and all this other stuff, a flock of, a flock of birds. But uh, a black swan, a group of black swans is known as a bank. I, I, I said okay. that's that that's that seems a little off the ball, but that's what it said right in the book. One other question: uh, When J.P. Morgan, this is something that I don't, you know, I'm going to ask you for because I don't follow this kind of stuff. But when J.P. Morgan takes over a bank like this place over in Los Angeles, do they take over all of the assets? Some of the assets? I mean, they have to be built into some you humongous profits because they're buying stuff probably at five or ten cents on the dollar, aren't they? I don't think it's that big of a, a discount, but uh, they are getting a discount on the deposits, and uh -huh. uh, they have a risk-sharing agreement with the FDIC on the loans. It's a 50-50 okay. share, so if any of the loans default, J.P. Morgan's only on the hook for half of the risk. The FDIC okay. is going to bail out the rest. Okay, that's what I need. Let's move on to the next chart. I'm glad you're on today because these are questions that I have a little bit of it. Oh, we got a break coming up here. But when we get back, we're going to be talking about this uh, diverging VIX index because there doesn't seem to be much fear uh, in the market right now. Is that correct? Well, it certainly was the case on Friday at the close. <laughs> well, and uh, if we look at the VIX today, it's moved up significantly. Yes, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to take a break here, I believe. Uh, the, the clock is on the wall. So we'll be back in a few minutes with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Stay with us, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and we're going to be talking about volatility. Yes, we are, Larry. Um, one of the things that we've been noticing uh, in the VIX is the simple fact that um, while it was plumbing its recent lows, the volatility of volatility, or the VIX index, was actually making higher lows. And uh, we've looked back over, over many, many years, and we're just illustrating in this chart, uh, over the course of the past year or so. But there have been many instances where we've seen those positive divergences in the VIX, and it's preceded a rally in the VIX, uh, and oftentimes a spike in the VIX. And, and our view at this point is that we've reached a level that we haven't seen really in well over a year, uh, maybe looking back into uh, 2021. And uh, I think that we're going to see a spike in the VIX that actually carries to a level greater than 40%. We haven't printed over 40% in two years. Uh, we haven't really had a panic. And I think that this banking crisis is um, just developing. It's, it's the beginning, not the end, despite what some of the experts and, and even Jamie Dimon himself at J.P. Morgan said yesterday. I don't think it's over, and I do think the Fed will continue to remain uh, tighter for longer, and rates will remain higher for longer than most people anticipate. And as a result, uh, we could continue to see, um, you know, uh, economic uh, growth uh, stifle. And frankly, I'm concerned about stagflation. And with all of those things together, it doesn't surprise me one bit that we're seeing a big spike up in the VIX today. Uh, it was up over 20 percent at one point. Uh, but I think that we'll see the VIX carry somewhere north of 40 percent before it tops this time. Wow. That's a 40 percent. That's going to... That will put some fear in the folks, that's for sure. Let's uh, take a look here. Uh, when you match this VIX up with the uh, highs and lows of the market, it's uh, pretty apparent that something usually happens at these points. It's true. We've uh, looked at this pattern ongoing for the last five years, and if we just kind of take a closer look uh, or, or kind of zoom in on what's happened over the last year itself, we could see that each time that the VIX has gotten – down to around 20% or low, we've been in the neighborhood of a tradable market low. But when the VIX shoots up to, um, or I should say a tradable market high, um, so you know when the VIX gets down to around 20%, that typically marks the high in the market. 
And then when we get up to around 34% or so, that's typically marked tradable lows. And so what we saw last week was a, a spike to a new high uh, in, uh, in the market. Uh, actually, yesterday's high was the high in the market. And that was uh, uh, consistent with the low in the VIX of around 16%. And so, you know, from that, we would uh, determine that the S&P is very likely topping like it has in this pattern uh, going back to last year, and we would expect it to result in, again, a spike in the VIX, which should exceed 34%. And, in fact, we've been saying, uh, like we said before, we think something north of 40% this time. Mm -hmm. Well, this next one says that it's the most merry setup you've seen since August, and the way it started uh, today, gee, that means uh, it's really, of course, it could reverse and close, close up on the day, the way things go these days, but this is a very, very significant top, it looks like, because you make a slightly higher high and then reserve, uh, reverse the last two days' actions in a matter of uh, six or seven hours of trading. That That's quite, uh, quite amazing. That's exactly right. Um, the last time we saw a pattern develop of this sort of similarity uh, took place in the first... Um, uh, or, or mid-August of, uh, of last year. And when we topped on August 16th over the course of the subsequent three trading days, uh, we saw a similar sort of uh, price action that we're seeing today. Uh, this is happening more rapidly, and it wouldn't surprise me to see a follow-through gap down tomorrow. And if we did, uh, that would be consistent with what we, with what we saw back in uh, mid to late August. Where, where we think we are in the Elliott wave count, uh, Larry, is that we think uh, we've just put in minor wave two of intermediate wave three of primary wave three down. And what that means is that we're in the, at the precipice of a third of a third of a third wave decline, uh, which we think could be a rather epic plunge to new lows. Um, we're looking for an initial decline into the, you know, 3,000 area which should ultimately um, uh, take us down into the mid-2000s before things uh, start to find their footing uh, at a durable low or a tradable low, if you will. And uh, that might sound crazy to a few people, but, uh, you know, the same thing uh, seems crazy in August when we were plumbing uh, or when yep. we were around 43.25 at the August peak. Yes. And uh, it took you know, less than two months to get down to 3,500 on the S&P 500. Yeah, but we really, like you, these charts are saying that we haven't really seen fear come in here since uh, the COVID thing, which was, you know, four years ago, believe it or not. It's hard to believe it's been that long uh, to go through. Now, we've got a couple more charts that we want to get through, and then you're going to join us on the second half of the show um, for for uh, the, the uh, for a trade, what you see on the second half, because we've got a couple questions that we'll answer. But uh, tell the folks uh, a little bit about your free newsletter, and then also we never give you too much of. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Bear with me here, because I hit the wrong button, and that's not a good <laughs> thing to do. That's it's a trouble, boy. Don't ever give an Italian a, a mouse. It's not a, <laughs> it's not an easy <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> I had such trouble with Amazon these last couple of days. I oh, oh my God! Don't ever go to service there because oh. Anyway, let's move on. Tell us about the newsletter, Jeff. Yeah, you know we publish a monthly newsletter. It comes out on the first Saturday of each month. Uh, the next issue is slated for publication on Saturday, May sixth. And it uh, promises to be a doozy. Uh, we, we do our best not to let down our subscribers. We want to keep them uh, engaged and interested. And we do so by coming up with some very interesting content. And so uh, if you're interested in learning more about, uh, you know, how we view uh, the top-down macro environment from an economic perspective, and you want to get into our full analysis of the market. Uh, we lay it out in about 20 pages once a month in this newsletter. Uh, the newsletter used to be free. It's not free anymore, uh, but we do give a free preview. So if you sign okay. up to receive it and don't want to be a paid member, you can get maybe the first four or five pages free. And, you know, we're, it's chock full of charts and, and data and uh, opinions, and, and I know that's what people want to read. And so, you know, we don't okay, uh, pull any punches. But if you do want the full Monty, uh, it'll cost you as little as twelve dollars a month now. You can buy a uh, annual subscription for one hundred and forty-four dollars, or Boy, twenty dollars a, a month. So, 
That's an easy one for sure. Hey, listen, we're going to have you back again uh, at 2.30, and we'll have you on again soon. Folks, let me tell you the most important statistic that I've found following this dude here for well over a year and a half. He's only right about 33% of the time, and he knocks the ball out of the park. If you can do that, you should listen to what this guy has to say. That's that's what I have my two cents worth. So we'll see you at 2.30. How's that, pal? That sounds great. Thanks, Larry. You bet. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. We're going to take a little break here to pay a few bills, and then we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Oh, dear, boys and girls, I just brought up a chart here. I hope you can see it in the Tiger Den. It is a chart of crude oil, and we are setting at a perfect a, B, C, D at the 61% retracement at 71 and change. And this is the same number that uh, Mr. Mike Moore of Moore Analytics was talking to us about yesterday. You can see the A, B, C, D lining up just absolutely spot on. And I think that if you look at it real closely, and I'm going to get it up here again so that we can see it, that we still haven't broken below it. 
That number is 7168. So far, that has been the low, but it's a double ABCD pattern and also a 61% retracement. This is the, uh, the absolute lowest possible risk you can have in trading, folks, because you have an ABCD pattern completing right there at 71.68, and we're trading at 71.78 right now. You only risk 40 cents, so that's $400 in a contract that's worth 71,400. So that's a, that's a very, very low risk. Now, if it's right, and this is a major bottom, this could be a very, very substantial low. But here again, your risk is only 40 pips. These patterns have two things going for them. They repeat over and over again, okay? And they have some degree of predictability. And the key two words there are some degree. And that's what you have to focus on is when you're wrong. So if it goes below 71.20, you know that there's something wrong. You take your, uh, take your, uh, lick your wounds, or kick your your uh, your stuffed cat or whatever you have, and move on to the next trade because that's all it is is a trade, folks. Shake them off, go on to the next one. There's always going to be somebody on the corner to give you a handout uh, if you're wrong on these things. But if you stay short or stay long like these folks did with the Silicon Bank and the Fed. Uh, the Reserve Bank of uh, Los Angeles and the uh, Signature Bank of New York and all the others that are having trouble, uh, this is not good. And uh, you can still see those uh, those banks from the uh, uh, NASDAQ. The, the, those, those banks are in big trouble. Thank God for Mr. Dr. Jim Bartoleone that triggered that. So we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. We'll see you on the next show occurring in exactly... Four minutes. 